You ain't married, so we wouldn't be putting up with them worthless critters to get a little work done. But, Granny, I told you. Look at you. There you stand with the best years of your life behind you. And there you hiding your hair of a husband, as you got. But I ain't interested in marrying just any men, folks. I love little Abner. Pretty soon the men folks ain't even going to look at you. They desire his young. Gals will spunk. <laughs> I don't care. It's only little Abner. Judge your word, Granny. Well, it's about time. He 
Is you very hungry this morning, son? Not ravenous, Mammy, just kind of. Well, in that case, I'll only put on just a few more. Is you there, Pappy? Pappy! Is you up? He sure do try my patience. Are you coming, Pansy? Either way, I'm coming. Here, yeah, son. Set yourself. I sure is hungry. Someday I ain't gonna wake you up for breakfast. And you're gonna sleep right through all of your deals. Oh, one happy day. I reckons we has the finest food in all the world. Pork chops and eggs for breakfast, pork chops and goobers for lunch, and for supper, more pork chops. Even though this ain't Sunday, we Now, might... don't you start getting your mouth set for them preserved condoms, Luther for ornamental yokum. Little Abner's taking them to the store directly after breakfast. See if you can make out this print. What do you make of it? Nothing. Good for fire. No, no. Reading. Howdy, fellas. Howdy, little Abner. Him read printing? Sure does. I can read writing and reading, too. Oh, you're the most intelligent young gentleman in Dopebat. I reckon I is. What him say? Among the, the stink wish visitors. Well, tickle my bones. That certainly do sound pretty. Will be Dr. James A. Barber, the celebrated is Printing's all mixed up, y'all. I reckon I'll better study it out. T S Y C A. What's that? Maybe it's a woodpecker. Maybe it's skunk hollers. Oh. oh. Why, it's Cicero Grunts. Oh, it's your little Abner. What you doing here, boy? Nothing. Just hanging these up for the sheriff. Don't you tell nobody you saw me with these papers. Don't fetch yourself, Cicero Grunts. We won't. What him say? $25 reward for Earthquake Magoon. Date or a lie. Better date. For robbing the First State Bank of Jonesville. The sheriff. Hmm. And do it really say $25 cash money? That's what it say. Oh, that sheriff must think we all idiots. They ain't that much money in the whole of tar nation. Oh, shit. What's the use of talking? Anyone knows you can't go with a skunk holler and come out alive. So our guess is Magoon's safe. Hey, didn't I told you that paper ain't meant for making fire? Yeah. You'll keep it, little Abner. Maybe you can read again for us. I'll be glad to. Uh, well, I gotta get it going. So long. So long. Twenty-five hours.
like them? Every time you come to visit me, you just has messes of boys hanging around. Messes is right. You never seen such messes as some of them boys. Four days you mean she can't get even one. Oh, that's too bad. She's welcome to any of these. I don't think she'd be interested. She's plumb short on just one boy. Where well, is she? Down large chasing after that little Agnes. You mean that big, handsome boy? Mm-hmm. Mm. I think I'll go down and look up the days in May. That's all, boy. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Love. North to Pineapple Junction? No. Is she maybe headed south for Sweet Patootie Corner? No. Why are you headed for, little Abner? I'm headed for so far to John Stall. Well, I will ask for and receive five pounds of boiled ham, one spoon of thread, number ten white, one can of pineapple, two pounds of cheese, half soles for Pappy's boots, one large jar of sweet patootie, one large jar of sour pickle, one bottle of ketchup, one bottle of mustard, one can of pea powder for salome, two twists of pipe tobacco for my mammy. That uh, turns on my heel, takes a beeline for home. What a peculiar coincidence. I said it's a soft part of John Stone likewise. So likewise, I used to turn on my heel and make a beeline back up. Oh. There's so, so no reason why we can't walk together, is there? Ain't no log, Janet. Someone strong around. You're always strong, and you're always around. Suppose not does have you. There's nothing romantical about it. We both understand that. Don't we? Yes, little Edna. Give me your arm. shinier than pearls. As for her cheeks, I can show you plenty of peaches which is almost as soft and pink and white. You don't think love is what I is in up with her. You take that back! Little, little Abner, you was right. She is just an ordinary, yellow-haired, blue-eyed, pinky-cheeked gal. Just like you'll say, anybody'd be a fool to be in love with her. Yes, sir, an awful fool. Oh, what a boy you'll me. On account of what you done said about Daisy May. Oh, I said, it was what you are saying. Correct. Only you said as if you meant it. Wait for me, little Abner. I'll walk by myself, thank you. You're always getting me talked about. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
Gosh! <laughs> Daisy May, I'm sure powerful glad to see you. Same you're delightful. What for you let him get away? I couldn't help it. I loved him so. What can be wrong? Maybe you need a new technique. Technique? What's that? Oh, that's what you gotta have to get him. Let's see. He's the tall, dark, and ignorant type. A boy like him requires only the crudest technique. It's the... Uh, you who Les Moon. Then do as your conscience tells you. Technique. Sure wish I had some. I'll show you how it's done. Will you? Nothing to it. Hello, Lil Abner. Howdy, Mr. Old Timer. Look at her. She's the most humorous looking gal you ever see. Look at the bugle on. <laughs> Boy, boys. You're too young and innocent to know what she's laughing at. What do you mean, Old Timer? What's this Sadie Hawkins say? A long time ago, this girl, Sadie Hawkins here in Dog Patch. Years she tried to catch herself a husband. Didn't have no luck. Finally, her pappy, who was the mayor, called all the bachelors of Dog Patch together, pulled out his gun, and says, I declare today Sadie Hawkins' day. When I fires my gun, you all can begin a running. After you've got a fair start, Sadie will take out. And the man she catches is going to be her husband. That's how it started. Now, every year when Sadie Hawkins' day rolls around, Life ain't safe for any male critter in dog patch. Now, did you get the idea? I'll never be able to understand technique. Let me. As a special favor to you, I'll contact you, little Abner. You'll go hard and watch me work my technique. Can I? But you gotta promise to take him off my hands. After he falls madly in love on me. I'll be so glad to take him off in your hands. Go on, get him. What happened? He's even more ignorant than I thought. Morning, Barney Bar Grace. Nice morning. Show sure is. in just a minute. I'll give my dog Pat's lullaby, which my mammy teached me. <laughs> they always act like that at first. Oh! Oh, thank you, sir. You saved me. Why did you reckon he wanted to kiss me? Dog the fawn knows I can't see no reason for it myself. You can't? I don't know why any intelligent man would want to go kissing a gal. Well, it ain't the kissing on minds, it's the trouble it starts. You kiss a girl and what happens? She gets romantical, she wants more. She follows you day and night and finally your brain weakens and you marry her. She has lots of children. She gets old and gray worrying about them. So your children marries and has children, then you not only got to worry about your children, but about your grandchildren. Your grandchildren has children, and by that time, you have the misery and the rheumatism, and pretty soon you dies. That's why I don't like kissing. Oh, little Abner, yo is just my type. Yo ain't romantical, and that's just what I ain't. Is that what yo ain't? Romantical is exactly what I ain't, as you can plainly see. Well. There was one gal and an awful lot. Sure would be nice to sit in that log and rest if 
I had some nice sense before I talked to her. If I see one, ma'am, I'll be glad to send him back here. Trouble is, most boys get romantical, and I'd hate that. Naturally. But Joe wouldn't get romantical, would you, Mr. Yoakum? Not me. That's fine. Then we can talk about interesting subjects. Something that ain't romantical. Sure enough. You know, it's kind of pretty in here with soft wind blowing through the trees. Little birds singing. Beautiful flowers smelling up the air. You know what it makes me feel like? No, what do it make you feel like? Like discussing educational subjects. For instance, what to do if a skunk gets in your woodshed? You know, skunks is funny little critters. I like discussing educational subjects and uh, learn things. What will we discuss? Let's discuss the subject of Eskimos. What's that? People. Would you like to know how Eskimos kiss? No. Oh, they don't kiss the way you think. Put out your hand. That's how Eskimos kiss. Oh, Eskimos is so wonderful. Ooh. Would you like to know how Eskimos shaped hands? So what? Shut your eyes. Mm. Man, what a technique I got. Little Abner, little Abner, honey, is your hurt? Oh. Get out of sight. My technique is just starting to work. Get. Get. Did you like that, little Abner? Oh, I hated it. I knew kissing to do this. It hurt my head. I'm a going home. You ain't going to run away after giving me such a nice kiss. Yo kissed me. I didn't kiss yo. Because if I did, we'd be engaged. That's the code of the hills. <laughs> oh, my poor head. Oh. Ain't he honorable? I'm going back to Pineapple Junction. These men around here don't make no sense. You sure make sense to me. Fancy, you scrubbing a hide off my back. Might as well quit complaining, Lucifer. It's coming on winter and it's time for your bath. Oh, I'm the most unhappy man. Hi, Lucifer. Morning, Fantastic Brown. Hmm. Don't seem like no time since I gave my Fantastic his spring clean-in. Ow! Ow! Tate Hooman, that's what it is. Get for home. You're next. Oh, Tate, no ass near time for my winter scrubbing. Mammy. All feels damp, Mammy. And powerful hungry. Walker always does come noon. Eat yourself a sandwich. That'll keep your faint up. Sure. And don't dance quick till it gets through with Pappy. Fishing. He's getting himself some dinner. No! 
<laughs> I'll go tell him on here. <laughs> ben, do you have a little mercy on me? What you fixing, little Abner? The oakum starvation preventer. Smells like you got sweet patootie in her. Not only sweet patootie, but I asked also sour pickles. Ham and cheese with ketchup, pineapple, sardines off the can, of course. Two fried eggs left for breakfast, a rash of roast pork, lots of ketchup. Ain't you finished yet, Pansy? <laughs> I started at the top. <laughs> you see? You're beginning to like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Abner, I've got a most peculiar feel. Oh, it must be because my stomach's empty. <laughs> Mandy, I've got a terrible misery in my stomach. What you put in your sandwich, son? Just a few things and enough catsup and horseradish and mustard to make it tasty. Mustard? You know that stuff ain't agreed with you since the time you ate that mustard plaster when you was a little baby. What you need is a doctor. There ain't no doctor around here. You know that. There'll be one. So right here. Are. Dr. Barber will be on the limited when it stops at the county siding for water at noon. And that's right where I'm a go. <laughs> Don't be late for supper, son. <laughs> well, there she is. Oh, I wonder where Dr. Barber is at. <laughs> always fix the old soup bones when you get a chance. That's what I always say. Or if a man got on a white coat like doctors has, maybe that's Dr. Barber. I'll go ask him. You go that away in case it ain't. Joe Barber, that's me. What's in your mind, kid? Can you fix me up? Well, that's a pretty big order. <laughs> that mop looks like a busted mattress. But with my trusty scissors, I can probably fix you up all right. You ain't gonna cut me, is you? Hmm? What's the matter with you, boy? I'm sick. Powerful sick. Well, now, what am I supposed to do? Bust out in tears? That'd be mighty sweet of you, but all I want to know is what ails me. Well, <laughs> that's what we'd all like to know. Can't be my appetite, because I just ate a combination ham, cheese, pineapple, sardine, sweet patootie, sour pickle, fried egg, preserved turnip, and roast hog sandwich. Whew! Whoa, with cats of horseradish and mustard, doctor. Doctor. Well, uh, can't be your appetite, son. Let me see. <clears throat> doctor. Hmm? Stick out your tongue. Let me look at that tongue. Stick it way out, way out. That's it. Now, uh, say ah. Oh. Oh, uh, you're flat. Is I? Well, now, <clears throat> just uh, take a good deep breath now. Take a good deep breath. That's it. Now stick your stomach out. Come on, stick it out. Stick it way out. That's it. Now close your eyes. Oh! Did you feel a sharp twinge? All of it. Oh, 
My boy, that's bad. That's bad. You've got it. You've got it. What has Doc got? You've got thrombosis. Thrombosis? Will I die? You're dead now from the neck up. How soon will the rest of me be dead? In 24 hours. I didn't find no Dr. Barber. Oh, I did. You did? What did he say? He told me I was going to be dead in 24 hours. On account of, I got scrombosis. You don't mean you'll be dead by the Mari? Dated than a catfish hate come noon. That's life. Yard today, star tomorrow. Hello, Mammy. How's your feelings, son? Heart is happy. How's your misery? My stomach feels fine. If only the doctor hadn't told me, I wouldn't know I was going to be dead in 24 hours. Dead? What you mean? Just plain dead. Oh, how is rich? Well, all you got is a tinch of mustard poisoning. You're always very comforting. But I has prepared my mind. Well, son, if you're going to be dead, you're going to be dead. We will be most sad and lonely. Naturally. A daisy may will be most sad, too. Seems to me it ain't fair you're dying. And not tell her nothing about it. Those key wrecked, Mammy. All that tells her I loves her. Do you? I, I means that I dislikes her less than any other gal. What must I do, Mammy? You could marry up with her. I could. Now that I'm going to be dead. Uh, son, your, your time's getting mighty short. I'm going to make love to her like she always wanted me to. <laughs> Happy, shut your face. Here, Hannibal. You follow his little Abner. Does he do anything peculiar? Come back here and tell me. But Mrs. Jacob, he might... Uh... He won't just do as I tell him. Yes, sir. <laughs>
all I want to make you unhappy, little Abner. Shanks. Daisy May. Yes, little Abner. Come back, y'all. Yes, little Abner. This ain't the way I planned it. Sit down. Shut your eyes. Or your white muslin with the make believe sweet patchouli blossoms. I reckon I'll wear the pink with the white sweet patchouli veil. Did you think that'd look pretty, little Abner? Sure will. You aiming to go to a party? Yep, a wedding party. Oh, very unfortunate. Well, who's it getting married? You and her, naturally. Mm -hmm. Me and her? Yep, you and her. I didn't say nothing about no getting married. I wanted to make her happy, so I kissed her. That's all. That's enough. The boys around here don't kiss girls until the day before they get married. And today's the day before you get married. That's the code of the hills. Our respects and salutes the code of the hills. I love the code of the hills. <laughs> Goodbye, new toe fast enough, and you've got things to you. Come on. Goodbye, little Abner, dear. I'll be at your wedding tomorrow. Eh? Little Abner, huh? you can't get married tomorrow noon. I've got it. It's the code of the hills. But you'll be dazed. And if I'm dead, I can't be married. Oh, happy to marry noon. Also got things to do. Here I am, knowing all about my future, and doing nothing about my mammies and my poor pappies. You no, know, it's most kind and considerate to be thinking of them at a time like this. Do you see this paper? Sure, I ain't blind. That's the Magoon reward. I'm going to Skunk Harbor. But our aims to call briefly on Earthquake Magoon. That's what I aims to do. Little Abner. I'll go to little Abner's mammy, and I'll tell her. That smells a live dog patcher. How you'll know he's a dog patcher? Because he don't smell. Will you quit painting and open that safe? I only brung you along because you're the cashier. Yes, 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 sir, Mr. McGlue. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a, a bit nervous. Here to take it to the sheriff for our aims to collect a $25 reward. <clears throat> That's most interesting. This are gifts to my sweet mammy and pappy, which they will use to live most comfortably the rest of their natural lives in dog pads. Is you from dog patch? Naturally. Does you all know that you's about to be dead? Don't 
got a live hey, hell back out there. Hey, Dan, man. Hold on, Dan. Come on. Hey, Magoo. Magoo's got a live dog back out there. Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. Relax the kill. Don't crack your school. Gal, name of Wendy Wildcat. Well, sure is. Gal, do you know another way out of here? Them skunk hollers have got me trapped. And of course, your wish is to get out. Naturally, don't you? If I goes out, I'll have to marry up with my goon. And he sure ain't my ideal. Does you show me another way out of here? I'll help you locate your ideal. I will be most delighted to help you. Does you keep your bargain and bring me my ideal? It's is young and Aladdin. I'll do anything you say. I'll... Mm -hmm. Does Holy oh, marry up with you? That's exactly what I mean. Oh, no, man. I just couldn't. Just a minute. When must I marry up with you? Tomorrow at noon. And not before? Exactly at noon. I'll be yours tomorrow at noon. No matter what shape I was in. Come on, pick up your bundles and follow me. So now. But this way. It's 23, 24, and 25 dollars. There you is, little Abner. Oh, thank you most kindly. Who has relieved the county of public poll cat number one? And further, Mr. Yoakum, you have saved all of the bank's money and my life. There. 
Joe is most kind. Oh, be careful. It's a ten center. I will guard it very tenderly. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sheriff. Goodbye. My poor innocent little pappy. I'm going to give you this enormous fortune. If it don't look just like a do around dog pants. Cornelius Cornpole. And only yesterday I seen him a going turkey hunting. <gasps> Cornelius Cornpole. Who is that? Is that your little Abner? Joe is. Cornelius Cornpone, I never thought you'd make it. <laughs> uh, but your show is an angel. Uh, uh, you really think so? I sure do. Tell me, Cornelius, does you like it up here? Yeah, I, I think it's fine. Cornelius, does a uh, feature good? You know, does you get preserved uh, turnips and, and poke chops, maybe? Well, yeah, of course I does. Oh, gosh, that's most encouraging. Well, I, I got to be walking along. Is y'all going to walk? Yeah, sure. Confounded idiot. He walks. And with a pair of wings like that. But I ain't no chump. I'm a gonna fly. Hey! Don't no, no, no! Guess I ain't been dead long enough for him to sprout. What's the matter with you, boy? Cornelius, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Where are your wings? Stop it, stop it, stop it! Is you crazy? Oh, you're just trying to kill yourself. I can't kill myself, because I was already dead. Oh, is I? Hey, look, you're the livest looking yokum I ever seen. Oh, I've got to be dead. On account of I done promised to marry up with two different gals come noon. Oh, what must I do? Mammy, I'm gonna fly home and... I'm gonna walk home. <laughs> there, 
Somebody's got to help me. All I can do is just give you a hint. What is it, Mammy? It's safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. What you mean, Pansy? Yeah. That's all I can tell you. Safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. Ah, uh, quit your worrying, son. I washed your nice, clean shirt for the Sadie Hawkins celebration tonight. Go on, go and have a lot of fun. Safe for a hound dog and a rabbit. He brought in the groove, boys. Oh, I sure hate these formal dances. Shoes hurt my feet, too. Well, Abner, tomorrow we are liable to be bachelors no more. 
Lavender, sure wouldn't mind to have this dance with you. in this yard, Daisy May. Hello? Ah! 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 Ah!
the earthquake. What do you want, little man? Uh, I would like to make a business call on you. What business a little skunk like you got with me? Ah, please hold your horses. <laughs> First, I want you to keep your windy wildcat from marrying with my son, little Ab. Does she catch him in the race? I met your son. Does you give me that bar? I guarantee you'll never see Wendy Wildcat again. I know. You promise on your honor? I promise. chance with me. Go get him, Wendy. We for you. Ready? Ready? Get on your mark.
catch a polecat, bar and squire. You miserable critter, you. Oh, 